the one whose mom was killed by Thor? What about it? If his story be a reminder, the lives of men mean nothing to the gods. I know, Father. You know. But do you listen? Yes. <laughs> Good. Hello everyone, Eldrick here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of God of War on the PS4. We were just on the Stone Falls Island area, and now we are back out and adventuring out on the Lake of Nine. And we entered some other area, and I can't pronounce that name, so I'm not even going to bother with it. But uh, let's uh, try going around through here and seeing what we may run into. Looks like we have a... Uh, landing spot to where we can uh, dock our canoe at. Oh, I see a dwarf. Maybe we can, uh, well, worst, worst canoe operator ever. <laughs> Alright, come on Kratos. Get over there. <laughs> come on. Alright, there we go, everybody. We finally made it on shore. <laughs> Alright, let's check this thing out first. Boy. Vathergar. Southern outposts of the Dwarven King. Dwarven King? Have you ever heard of a Dwarven King? No. Alright, let's check out and see what Brock has for us over here. Hey Brock, you ever hear of a Dwarf King? I suppose you're talking about Motsignir? Some bitch ruled over the humans once lived in this area. Built itself a castle just north of here. A Dwarven castle? What's it like? You got yourself a pair of eyes and legs, ain't you? Might want to stock up before you head that way, though. Old Motsignir's known for collecting all manner of killerin' creatures. Not sure who's looking after them now. Brock. Fuck else you need? How come your brother's got half your brand? Cause I ain't in a working relationship with that foot licker no more. I wasn't about to let him use it without me and he likewise. Only thing to do was split the brand 50-50 down the middle. Guess that was the last thing we saw eye to eye on. What? You want a hug? Hit the road! Sorry. Come on in, then. So much for peace and quiet. Alright, let's uh, do a run through of our equipment here. And see if we can upgrade or purchase anything that may be of use for us or not. Weapon pommels. Pommels can be equipped on your weapon. Each pommel will increase stats and provide unique perks based on your actions in combat. Okay, we also have talismans. Talismans have unique effects that can aid you in combat. They can be upgraded at the shop to improve their effectiveness and reduce cooldowns for certain abilities. And I don't even have enough resources to upgrade that anyway, so let's move on. Okay, so we have a quiver upgrade number two, reduces the Talon Bow's arrow recharge time for 5,000 hex silver. Hell yeah, we'll take that. That'll be pretty nifty and useful coming up, I believe. Okay, let's run through these enchantments that he has for sale here. 
see if there's anything useful with those. Okay, I think I'm going to buy the Symbol of Menace, which is a rare enchantment, and that will give us some bonuses to our vitality. I believe plus three, if I remember correctly. Oh, uh, what the hell, I'll just buy the Symbol of Cunning as well. We'll nab that one, add that to our collection. I honestly think that we are about done here. I may sell some of these artifacts that we've been finding along on the way. But as far as any type of upgrading and purchases, I think we are about to call it quits for Brock for now. But uh, let's just go back through this here one more time real quick. Let's sell off these masks and these heads. Get some hack silver back. Because you know how we love that damn hack silver. <laughs> to see you sweating the details. And just for the hell of it, I think I'm going to purchase the symbol of defiance and get some bonuses to our cooldown. And what the hell, let's just purchase the Symbol of Shadows while we're at it too. Fuck. We've been finding enough hacks over. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a look at the wrist armor real quick. So we have the Reaver forearm bands and the Boar Hide Bracers. So the Boarhide Bracers will give us a plus 5 in defense, and the Reaver Forearm Bands will give us uh, some strength as well as a point or two in defense. And it looks to be similar to the Waste Armor. We have a Reaver Belt or a Boarhide Belt. The Reaver Belt is going to give us a plus 5 in defense, and the Boar Hide Belt is going to give us um, some strength and defense in our stats. I don't know if I want to go as in like an offensive Kratos, or kind of play it safe in this difficulty and go with more defense. I think I'm going to have to go with the boar hide belt because if I go with the extra strength I'll be able to do more damage at a faster rate I believe so I think I'm going to have to go with the the DPS. That's what we're going to go with the boar hide belt everyone. Alrighty let's go down here and check out our axe pommels. So we have a curved recovery handle, high perk activation chance to grant a blessing of cooldown on any successful precision throw, weighted recovery handle, curved runic handle, and weighted war handle. Well that's really cool, I like how the, uh, the handles are changing at the bottom. I don't think I really want any of those though. We have a Talisman of Resolute Protection. Grants an invincible barrier for several seconds when Kratos' health drops to a critical level. And we also have a Talisman of Resolute Might. I don't think I want either of them. <laughs> Do I want to upgrade this Waste Armor or not? I probably could benefit from this boar hide belt, but I think I want to see what other type of upgrades are available and just save that particular resource at the moment.
Okay, let's check out the chest armor again. We have a boar hide shoulder guard. We would get a plus two in strength and a plus four in defense for it looks like to be the same amount of resources as that waste armor. I'm going to apologize right now everyone if this video has seemed boring of me just going through the armor and my setup on equipment and whatnot for Kratos and Atreus in this game. Just let me know, leave a comment down below and I can see about cutting out this crap or fast forwarding through it and giving an update on what type of armor and upgrades I've chosen in any future video. So I believe I'm going to go with the Reaver forearm bands just because of the additional defense. I like the plus 5 in defense, especially right now since I'm dying in like 3 or 4 hits anyway from most enemies. Let me just run through this crap one more time and see if there's anything else that I may want to purchase and or upgrade. Okay, so it looks like I have enough items to upgrade the Reaver forearm bands. I'm going to upgrade. There we go. Get us some more defense, which should come in handy, I hope, which time will only tell. <laughs> Best of luck with all the rampaging. Alright, I think we are done with Brock. So, let's uh, see if we can continue on our quest. <laughs> see you, blue buddy. You know Brock probably has blue balls or... <laughs> oh, yeah, we're not going to go there. <laughs> Atreus has gained confidence in combat and will now support Kratos by physically attacking enemies when he sees an opening. These abilities can be upgraded in the Skills tab. Oh, we gotta take down some wolfies. I'm sorry, puppies. I'm sorry, poochies. I feel like I'm taking on Sif all over again. Dark Souls brings a tear to my fucking eye. Oh. But y'all look like you're some kind of infected, uh, Draugr type of fucking wolves, so we'll take you down anyway and we won't feel so bad. Alright, so we took down those enemies successfully. Let's continue on. Oh, what do we have in the chest? It's in there. Oh, nice. Some steel. to these people follow the clues okay well scorch marks they're all grouped together so maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather actually before we continue into that area let's uh open this door and grab this chest hopefully we have a decent item in here what do we got oh nice some more steel and upgrade items Sweet. You like tight spaces, son? Well, let me tell you a story about your dead mother. 
She had a tight space. And I died from the pooches. They must have caught word from the other pack that we slaughtered earlier <laughs> and got their revenge. So let's continue on and retry that. What happened to these people? Follow the clues. Okay. Well, scorch marks. They're all grouped together. So maybe they were hiding from some kind of fire breather. But they died anyways. Right foot! <laughs> Learn efficiency, boy. Can you read it? Veda Dab. It means hunting death. Great. Curse the Dwarf King, Bane of Mankind. Sounds like he wasn't a very good king. I wonder why they hated him so much. They are dead now. Does it matter? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is dangerous, boy. Stay focused. Okay, so this looks like a pretty decent spot to stop this video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, leave a like, and some comments down below if you would like. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, I know it's taken me a while to get some God of War stuff coming up, but uh, I'm actually taking my time on this and making pretty good videos wow. and whatnot, I, I think. But uh, let me know what you think about the Brock situation and the weapon upgrades and the armor upgrades and stuff like that when we spend it at the store. But until then, take care, keep gaming, and I will see you guys next time for some more God of War. Bye-bye.